come here, as I said the last time, I come with mixed feelings. On the one hand, I'm um, upset that we have to provide this kind of facility for children who don't seem to have a home of their own. But on the other hand, I give thanks to God that as they are here, they have found a home because there are people to take care of them, to love them, to make sure that they do well, and to make sure that, to make sure that they have a chance of getting on in life. I'm very happy uh, to note from what the Honorable Commissioner has said that uh, work is going to commence soon on the refurbishment of this uh, home. Uh, I have been at it for quite a while now, but as you all know, it is not easy to get things done. There are all kinds of uh, hurdles that we have to cross, but I'm very happy that uh, as of now, all those uh, obstacles have been removed. And by the time I come back here, and I think it should be March next year, around the time we have International Women's Day, this place should be ready, and um, hopefully it will be a fitting place for our children. Because when we were discussing the refurbishment of the um, Iridu Adibayo home, I gave two criteria uh, to the ministry. I said criteria number one, it should be a place that Eredu Adibayo herself would be proud of anytime she visits Ikiti. I want her to be able to come here and say, yes, this is the legacy that I left behind. The other criteria I gave is that it should be a place where any one of us can leave our own children or our grandchildren. If it is not a place where we can bring our children to play or you know, uh, for them to come and use, then it is not fit for our children who are here, because all these children are our children as the government of the Kitty State. We are their mothers, we are their fathers, so they deserve the very best. I'd like to thank the matron and all her colleagues for the wonderful work that they do here. Kushel, Beshin Kocha, Omolomo, Yu, Ben, Ono, Shabato, Ju, Amoti, Ono, Wani, Laila, Yu, Wajuru, Wajibao, Eshe, Adupel. So once again, I thank you very much, and as the year draws to an end, I pray that the Lord Almighty will guide and protect all of you and your families. And as we enter into the new year, may we do so full of joy, happiness, and high hopes, which I know will be met by God. Thank you. Thank you, Aye. What? I translated, I translated it to sweet mother. I don't know if that is acceptable. Okay. That's my own version. Not both. All these things here. So I, you know that you're going to use them uh, well for the benefit. And um, this year I've done something a bit different. We brought this for our children and this basket as well. Can you please take this basket aside? Because they work very hard taking care of these children. So we think that the least we can do is to let you also have a little something for the Christmas period. So that is for you. So this is for our children for you to take care of them. And there are some things in this basket that um, um, with gifts that I gave people when we had parties and so on and I always have something left over and I thought maybe you would find some use for them here. We have kettles, trays and so in case you are wondering why some of them are branded, I thought maybe you would have some use um, you know, for them in the orphanage here. So once again, well done for all the work that you do. We are very grateful. God bless you.